What's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you alternate glute exercises that you can do at the gym if you want to switch up your routine or if the gym is really crowded. I know sometimes certain machines aren't available. So this video is really going to give you guys some ideas on uh, other exercises you can do if certain equipment is not available. I'm starting off with a regular barbell hip thrust. Uh, you want to make sure that the bench you have isn't moving around like the one that I'm using right now. When you're hip thrusting, it's very important to protect your hips. You don't want to get scars or be in pain while you're doing the movement. That'll definitely prevent you from going as heavy as you want to go. So I'm using an Eric's pad here. I got this on Amazon and it is amazing. This is the same exact movement, I'm just using step ups instead of a bench. Honestly, I really prefer this one over the bench because it's more comfortable for my back. Um, so whichever one works better for you guys this is just one of my personal favorites that you could do if you don't have a bench available. So here I'm doing a glute push down on the pull up machine. This is an isolation exercise for your glutes. I love this exercise. It is great for the glutes, especially if you go a little heavier in weight. You want to make sure that you're pushing with your heels to fully activate the glute muscles. And my foot is placed in the middle here. So if someone is on the assisted pull-up machine doing pull-ups like you're supposed to be doing, you can do the same exact exercise on a cable. Um, this cable was a little weird because it wouldn't let me adjust it, so it's, I had to like pull the wire down all the way from the top. Um, so normally you won't have to do what I just did. You will just be able to adjust the cable so it's, um, I guess, to the height of your head. So yeah, make sure you have the correct attachment and just place your foot in there and do the same movement like I just did in the other video. Um, I'm not really holding on to the wire as it may seem. I'm just kind of placing my hand there to make sure that it doesn't whack me in the face, but I'm not using it to pull down the weight. When you're done with the exercise, just be really careful when you are putting the cable back up. You don't want to get hit in the face. It's happened to me before, and it's not fun. Glue kickbacks are usually done on a cable, but here I am doing them on a leg extension. The only difference is that the pad is on my calf as opposed to it being on my foot. Um, it does work your glutes and hamstrings just as well and it's a great alternative than to doing it on the cable as I am doing right here. Um, if you have a cable available that's usually what I end up doing as opposed to the other one but sometimes there's just not enough space in the gym and you don't want to hit someone in the face. This exercise is called a kneeling squat on the Smith machine. Again, I'm using my Eric's pad to protect my knees this time. So the movement for this exercise is you're basically squatting back until your glutes touch your heels. Uh, the comfort of this exercise can be a little tricky because usually when I first start, I feel like I need to move up a little bit or move back. Honestly, you just need to keep adjusting yourself until it feels comfortable.
without the assistance of the Smith machine, this exercise can get a little more challenging doing it this way. You probably won't be able to go as heavy as you want. Um, you will definitely need some help if you're going to pack some weight on there because it's going to be a little hard to stand up when you're done and uh, lift the weight up over your shoulders as I am doing right here. Donkey kickbacks on the assisted Smith machine. This exercise gave me some trouble today, guys. This is my first attempt right here, and as you can see, it got caught when I was trying to do the kickback. Usually, I don't have um, issues doing this at my home gym, but um, the Smith machine was very old, and it just wasn't having it today. You're not going to be able to do this one. Hold on. I need to put more weight on this one. Boyfriend thinks I'm crazy. All right, take two. Hallelujah. Spoke too soon. Yeah. Hell is that? Like, how does that even happen? This is really not going the way I planned. <laughs> All right, I'm doing this crap one more time. Didn't hit my head. Smith machine looks normal. Really? So at this point, I'm just like, fuck this, I'm going on the leg extension. So instead of going through all of that mess that I just went through, you can do the same exact thing on the leg extension. I am doing donkey kicks here. Honestly, guys, way less trouble doing it like this. I didn't have my boyfriend there with me, guys. I would have been crushed. So this is definitely a lot safer and uh, it'll save you a lot more time just doing it like this. That is going to conclude this video for today, guys. I hope I was able to give you some ideas on new exercises to do at the gym when your gym is crowded or even some exercises that aren't so good to do at all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.